It's four o'clock in the morning, I'm crawling out of my bed. Another opening day is lying just ahead. The sun begins to rise and my anticipation's high, hoping that I'm gonna see a big old buck walk by. Well, this living outdoors is just the life for me. Sitting in my boat or in a stand up in a tree. Well, life is just too short, won't you come along with me? And let me introduce you to this life, living outdoors. Living Outdoors is brought to you by Carmichael's Pharmacy, Home Medical Equipment and Gifts. 150 Martin Luther King Boulevard in Monroe. Monroe Cotton Mills Antique Mall, 601 South Madison Avenue in Monroe. The new John Supermarket, located at 416 South Broad Street in Monroe. Phelps Heating and Air for all your heating and air needs. 770-267-2043. The Trading Place Pawn and Sales and Indoor Gun Range, located at 1412 South Broad Street in Monroe. Mike Sarles and Alpha Insurance for all your insurance needs. 770-207-5112. Amici's Italian Cafe, specializing in pizza, wings, pasta, good times. Located in downtown Monroe. Hey folks, Ricky Brown here for Living Outdoors, and we appreciate y'all tuning in. Jeff Vandiver, Dawson, we're about to do some rabbit hunting. You know, y'all have seen us do this before. You don't have to have a big old pack of dogs, and you don't have to have a lot of land. All we're going to do is walk around and stomp these briars and just see if we can jump a rabbit up and kill it. Dawson's going to kill his first, his second rabbit. He's already killed one. He's yep. going to kill his second rabbit That's number two. by jumping him. And I'm going to tell you, it's a lot harder to do this way. You don't know when the rabbit's going to get up. You know, it, it's a lot all, more exciting. It's me. all a surprise. You know, Everybody's got their own opinion. But you know what? It's a lot more gratifying when you do kill one of these rabbits because, you know, you, like I said, you don't know he's getting up. He's going to scare you to death when he jumps up and runs. And just, you know, it's always fun to kill two or three this way. We're not going to go out here and kill 20 or 30 rabbits. But we're going to kill two or three, and we're going to try to cook them this evening. Y'all stick around. It's going to be a good day. Tell you what, folks, it's getting harder and harder to jump a rabbit in Georgia around here where we are. I took my son the other day, a week or so ago, when it snowed. And, uh, I mean, we walked around land that we've owned for 40 years. And we've always killed rabbits on it, but in the last 10 years, they've just become less and less. And now when me and him go walking, we walked for two hours and did not jump a rabbit. We did find a lot of coyote mess. And... Uh, that's what we're getting more of around here. And we think it's got a lot to do with it. I mean, we used to not have coyotes, now we do. Rabbits are getting less. Anything that roosts on the ground is having a hard time now. So it's gonna be a problem. We don't know what we're gonna do, but hopefully we can get it straightened out. My son wonders what in the heck we're stomping all these briars for. We gotta find some rabbits. When we ask our customers what they like most about Amici, we always get an argument. Hi folks, this is Mike Torino for Amici Italian Cafe. Some call us the pizza people because our pizza is made fresh every day. Others call us the wing people for our award-winning hot wings. And still others love our salads. So whether it's our pizza wings, salads, or sandwiches, you can be assured that it is served freshly every day in a family-friendly environment. Come see us in downtown Monroe. Susie was really having allergy trouble. My Lennox dealer suggested checking our home for unseen allergens. Phelps Heating and Air has a simple test to show which allergens your home may have. After we had the test, Lennox made improvements to our system. 
A healthy Advantage Monitor gives you the comfort of knowing your home's air is healthy. It's the most important investment we've ever made in our family's health. Add to your home's value and health. Call Phelps Heating and Air today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Hey, I'm Greg Thompson inviting you down here to the brand new store here at John's Supermarket here in downtown Monroe. Same location, but a bigger and better store. We have a full service line of meat. We have a fresh produce delivered three times a week. We have a full line of groceries, and we have a competent staff here to help you out with all your needs. Open seven days a week from 7.30 in the morning to 9.30 at night. Located at 416 South Broad Street. Phone number is 770-267-5632. The Trading Place Pond at 1412 South Broad Street in Monroe is proud to announce the opening of their indoor gun range. With 12 lanes rated for pistol, rifle, and shotgun, electronic target retrievers make indoor shooting enjoyable for the whole family. Bring your own gun or rent one of ours to see which gun fits your needs before you buy. Our competent staff can assist you even if you've never shot before. Call for info on ladies only classes. Don't forget to come see us for a loan on most anything of value. 770-266-0281. See, folks, what I'm talking about, we've already been through. I mean, we've walked a quarter mile through some beautiful stuff, and we had not jumped a rabbit yet. I mean, look, he's hot. No, can't jump a rabbit, wants to shoot one. It's getting tough around here. Before long, we're going to be putting out rabbits like we are quail. L listen to me. Hey you! Hey you! Did you get it? I don't know. I'm just shooting the way he went. Was it a I rabbit? I never could see him. Yeah, it was a rabbit. It was a big rabbit. Look at that. Oh, rabbit hair. Rabbit hair, ain't it? Get on that, Billy. Look at that. Rabbit hair? Yes, sir. That's where he's been pulling through these bars. What'd they find over there? Uh-huh. Don't shut. Don't tell them. Dawson, you never tell who you're hunting with when you find something like that. Hey, you done hunt? What I'd like to do is go ahead and kill one. That looks like a feather. Oh, belly fur. I can see him so far. But I'm going to look around anyway. You'll never know. He ran right through that thicket. I could not get a shot. You hate losing one when you finally jump him. I must have hit the rabbit. And we got up here to where I shot at him and he's sitting in here and he scooted back between us. Still didn't get a shot. This stuff's so thick on the ground. Hey y'all, you might wonder why we got all this orange and stuff on. But you know, I gotta tell you that this way of rabbit hunting is a lot more dangerous than hunting with dogs. I mean, look what we're doing. We're walking around in briars. It's hard to walk in them to begin with, but we got loaded shotguns when we're doing it. You know, when you're hunting with dogs, you kind of stand around the edge of the briars and you let the dogs do all this. But when, when we're out here doing it, we're doing what the dogs are doing. So the reason we got this orange and stuff on, when that rabbit jumps, you don't have but a half a second to either shoot or don't shoot. And if you don't know where your buddies are at, just in a split second, you know, you just can't do it. It just ain't going to happen. It's all about safety. Hey, you know, when you're hunting with a pack of dogs, sometimes you might be able to get away not having briar pants and stuff on, but not doing this, buddy. I mean, it's rough in here. It's going to tear your clothes off. Look at Jay Stone's pants if you don't think so. This stuff is rough. Hey, you know, it's pretty fun to hunt at your own pace, too, sometimes. You know, when you got a pack of dogs, you kind of have to hunt at the dog's pace. The dog will, dogs will jump one one rabbit and they'll jump 10 more while they're running him. But the way we're doing it, we just jump one at a time. We hadn't killed one yet. We've jumped one, hadn't, didn't kill him. But that don't that happens a lot when you're trying to stomp them up and kill them. But uh, anyway, we're gonna roll on. It's getting hot.
There's a good hole up under that log, Jeff. You just stepped on. There you go, get him, Dawson. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Get him, Dawson. Oh, you put it right in there you where he sure was. You sure did, buddy. Look where he was. Don't, don't take you off of it. That's as good as you think you could have shot it. Yes, him, sir. Dawson. I watched it. That was good, boy. That's good. Oh, there's a hunk of hair. There's a hunk of hair. Look. Man. No. Oh, you couldn't have shot him no better, bud. No, sir. I don't, I didn't get him. Was that fun or what? Huh? What? Was that fun? I see his wad laying there. Do you? Yeah. <clears throat> Woo! Yes, yeah, sir! Right yeah, here! You're the man! Oh! Woo! There he goes, boys. Right there. Still alive. There he goes! There he goes! No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Hold on. Hold on. Let him get out, Chandler. All right. Shoot him. Shoot him in the head. Bro. Yes, sir! Good job, buddy! Woo! <laughs> Hey, nobody ever said it was easy. Look at Dawson. Look at that. Yeah. Good. good shot, bud. Good shot, Dawson. Get him in the eyeball. Man, good shot, dude. What do you think about that? Yeah, that was good. That was quick, wasn't it? That's all I wanted. Oh, That's all wow. you wanted. Yes, sir. You did your job. Ooh. You did better than your daddy did. Man, I, I didn't even think I shot it. Well, you, what I tell you earlier? What I tell you to do? Shoot right at where it was. Shoot where he goes, and baby. I, and that's what I did. And then look what you got. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, well, you got supper tonight. <laughs> hey, guys. Dawson just killed a rabbit. Just jumped him and killed him. And, I mean, I saw every bit of it. He shot him like a professional, buddy. It was awesome. You know, everything that we do here is all about the kids. And if you could have saw, seen Dawson's face when he killed that rabbit, when he saw that rabbit over, and he actually is the one that went and found the rabbit. We were all looking for it, but Dawson found it. And his face lit up, man. That's, that's just what it's all about, guys. That's just awesome. Look, uh, last year I bought this little light Frenchy 20 gauge, and he already had a, little, a gun that I had for him, but it was a little too heavy for him. He liked this one right here, so he stole it from me. Well, that's the first rabbit has been killed with it. So we're gonna officially call this little Frenchy Dawson's. That's his rabbit gun. Good job, man. He just shot where that rabbit went. The rabbit run right by him. I jumped it. And uh, it went straight in a briar patch, and he sent one in right behind him. And he got that rabbit. Good job, buddy. Let's get another one. Awesome. Let's go. He loved That's awesome, man. I mean, that I, made a perfect Sunday afternoon. I'd rather that happen than me kill 10. So that's, that's, that's what it's all about right there. He is hooked. All right, folks. You know, we've only been here about two hours. So and we jumped three rabbits in two hours and killed one of them. That's a pretty good day for jumping, for stomping rabbits. I'd say that's pretty doggone good. Well, unless you're me. I'm the one that missed one. Jeff missed one. So, hey, you know. Can't make excuses for everybody. Yeah. But we had a lot of fun, and look, we got to do it again. This ain't enough rabbit for a stew. Number two rabbit for Dawson ever. It's awesome, man. Got him on his own. It's all about the kids. Yes, you know? sir. He's all over it now. Yeah. So we had a ball. We're going to do it again. We ain't through with this show. We're going to be back. Like I said, it's only took us two hours to do this, and it's only lunchtime now. Two so or three uh, more places to stomp. So that's right. We all so have a few rabbits when it's over. Y'all just stick around. We'll be right back. Hey folks, I'm Ian Henderson down here at my antique mall located in the Monroe Cotton Mills. We're the largest antique mall in the South. We've got over 500 dealers. We're here Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, Sunday, 1230 to 6. We're open every day but Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. We've got great prices, great merchandise, and we'll sell you anything. We've got delivery available as well. It's 60,000 square feet of shopping fun. We're located in the Monroe Cotton Mill at 601 South Madison Avenue. The Trading Place Pond at 1412 South Broad Street in Monroe is proud to announce the opening of their indoor gun range. With 12 lanes rated for pistol, rifle, and shotgun, electronic target retrievers make indoor shooting enjoyable for the whole family. Bring your own gun or rent one of ours to see which gun fits your needs before you buy. 
Our competent staff can assist you even if you've never shot before. Call for info on ladies only classes. Don't forget to come see us for a loan on most anything of value. 770-266-0281. When we ask our customers what they like most about Amici, we always get an argument. Hi folks, this is Mike Torino for Amici Italian Cafe. Some call us the pizza people because our pizza is made fresh every day. Others call us the wing people for our award-winning hot wings. And still others love our salads. So whether it's our pizza wings, salads, or sandwiches, you can be assured that it is served freshly every day in a family-friendly environment. Come see us in downtown Monroe. Time to replace that thing you just keep repairing, that just keeps coming back to haunt you. Then it's time to call your local Lennox dealer. They can replace your old, outdated furnace or air conditioner with a high-efficiency Lennox system that can save you money. Phelps Heating and Air can tell you if it's time to put repair costs towards a new system. Call Phelps Heating and Air for Lennox products you can depend on. Lennox. Innovation never felt so good. Welcome back to Living Outdoors. Uh, you saw us do a little stomping with some kids. Today you're going to see us do some dog hunting with some kids. There's two great ways to kill rabbits in Georgia. This is going to be the other way, running a pack of dogs. These are some of the best dogs we ever hunted with. So come on, let's get in the briars. We already jumped a rabbit. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. Man, we already got one. Already got one running. All right, folks. We ain't been here two minutes, and Charlie done seen a rabbit run up in this briar patch right here behind me. Well, instead of killing him, we let the dogs out right quick, and they got immediately on him, and they are burning him up. So that gets the dogs going good anytime you can start with a rabbit and you know it's a rabbit you need to get the dogs on them and let them run it what'd you do here nah, just looked up. he was sitting right here on the edge yeah i know he was I on the edge off. i just barely saw a glint something right up in there he was just sitting there getting nervous <laughs> That rabbit is coming toward us right now. The dogs go run him in a circle, and that rabbit's trying to get back right here where he was jumped at, right here. So he's going to be out ahead of the dog. You got to be still, because he'll see you and turn and go a different way. So you just stand right here and wait for him. And you look all down in the briars, you'll see that rabbit come. He's sitting on the ground right yonder, up the fence. Come on, easy. All right, we got that rabbit. Gonna be some good eating a nice young tender rabbit. Don't like I hit him very hard. Pretty sure it was the same rabbit that uh, the dogs were running. We jumped him right here. He made a big circle and came right back to the same spot. So when you're rabbit hunting with dogs, you gotta be patient. The dogs will bring him back if they're good dogs. And there's proof of it right there. Let's put him in the truck. Let's put him in the truck. Yeah! Rabbit number two, baby. There you go. Rabbit number two. Hey, I'll tell you what. That was not a rabbit the dogs were running. Me and Isaac are just kicking around, you know, waiting on the rabbit to come by from the dog running the rabbit. We jump a separate rabbit, so it, it pays to get in the briar sometimes. He was sitting tight, too. He let me about step on him before he run. I think he was kind of nervous hearing these dogs running. He was sitting real tight. The number two, we eat. Did you see that? Every dog ran right over him. You caught him? 
Yeah. I broke it down. I don't know what happened. I, I, I just looked up and saw the rabbit sitting in the road. Every dog ran right over him. I didn't know what else to do but to try to catch him. Somebody just shot up there. I don't know if they got it or not. Folks, I'm going to tell you what. I mean, you've seen us. We've hunted this place every year. And these pines have got to the perfect size. We've got a lot of cover. They're thick enough it can hide from these coyotes and stuff. Jay has seen coyotes out here this year while he was deer hunting. And uh, coyotes don't hang around a place that there's not no air, nothing to eat. And I'm going to tell you, this is the most rabbits we've seen in here in a while. We hadn't moved probably out of this, I'd say, 10 acre field of pines and they have rabbits been running every which way. Hard to cut them off because you don't have many areas like this road we're standing on. And if he comes across it fast, you're not going to kill him. But man, we have had a good time. These dogs hadn't hushed since they got here. And for the next couple of years, we probably need to focus on these predators. And uh, we'll have some good hunting in here for a while. Until these pines get up so high, it shades everything out. That's where my farm's in a stage of that right now. And uh, it's done shaded all the briars out and your rabbits go with it. But right now, this is the place. Get him out there, dog. Alright, we had a good day today. Ended up with five rabbits. We should have had ten rabbits. Uh, several people were off on their shots today. We want to thank Keith and Ted for bringing their dogs. Stick around. Hey, I'm Greg Thompson inviting you down here to the brand new store here at John's Supermarket here in downtown Monroe. Same location, but a bigger and better store. We have a full service line of meat. We have a fresh produce delivered three times a week. We have a full line of groceries, and we have a competent staff here to help you out with all your needs. Open seven days a week from 7.30 in the morning to 9.30 at night. Located at 416 South Broad Street. Phone number is 770-267-5632. Hey folks, I'm Ian Henderson down here at my antique mall located in the Monroe Cotton Mills. We're the largest antique mall in the South. We've got over 500 dealers. We're here Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, Sunday, 1230 to 6. We're open every day but Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. We've got great prices, great merchandise, and we'll sell you anything. We've got delivery available as well. It's 60,000 square feet of shopping fun. We're located in the Monroe Cotton Mill at 601 South Madison Avenue. The Trading Place Pond at 1412 South Broad Street in Monroe is proud to announce the opening of their indoor gun range. With 12 lanes rated for pistol, rifle, and shotgun, electronic target retrievers make indoor shooting enjoyable for the whole family. Bring your own gun or rent one of ours to see which gun fits your needs before you buy. Our competent staff can assist you even if you've never shot before. Call for info on ladies only classes. Don't forget to come see us for a loan on most anything of value, 770-266-0281. When we ask our customers what they like most about Amici, we always get an argument. Hi folks, this is Mike Torino for Amici Italian Cafe. Some call us the pizza people because our pizza is made fresh every day. Others call us the wing people for our award-winning hot wings. And still others love our salads. So whether it's our pizza wings, salads, or sandwiches, you can be assured that it is served freshly every day in a family-friendly environment. Come see us in downtown Monroe. Hey folks, whether you're hunting these rabbits with dogs or without dogs, this is where we always want to end up, you know. Rabbit hunting's a little different. Rabbit hunting's nothing about trophy hunting or anything like that. It's about getting your friends together to rabbit hunt and then getting them back together again to bring them out here and do this. You know, that's what it's all about with us. Hey, look, I want to throw out a special thanks to Keith Brewer and Ted Peters for bringing their rabbit dogs, and, and it's probably the best rabbit dogs I've ever hunted behind, I got to tell you. It was, it was awesome. I also want to throw out a special thanks to our sponsors. You know, if it wasn't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be here. And another thanks goes out to our viewers. If it wasn't for our viewers, we wouldn't want to be here. So, hey, look, I think I speak for everybody when I say that, uh, Hang on, stop right there.
That was a good one. It's ready. Hey, I think I speak for everybody here when I say that we truly, truly appreciate y'all tuning in to Living Outdoors. And we'll see y'all somewhere next time. <laughs> you know, I told you we wear this orange for safety reasons. But really, when you're hunting with these guys, it ain't going to keep them from shooting you. No. It's just going to make you easier to find after they do shoot you. I was sorry. Living Outdoors is brought to you by Carmichael's Pharmacy, Home Medical Equipment and Gifts. 150 Martin Luther King Boulevard in Monroe. Monroe Cotton Mills Antique Mall, 601 South Madison Avenue in Monroe. The new John Supermarket, located at 416 South Broad Street in Monroe. Phelps Heating and Air for all your heating and air needs, 770-267-2043. The Trading Place Pawn and Sales, an indoor gun range, located at 1412 South Broad Street in Monroe. Mike Sarles and Alpha Insurance for all your insurance needs, 770-207-5112.